Good morning, Flagler County. I'm Rich Carroll. You're listening to Flagler's Morning News on Wednesday, December 8th. And this local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota, here to wow you. This is a win for Flagler schools. A Flagler County school board member wins a book battle. Board member Jill Woolbright called for a controversial book entitled All Boys Aren't Blue to be pulled from school library shelves. The book contains sexually explicit personal essays written by journalists and LGBTQ activist George Johnson. Woolbright tells WNZF she's proud of Superintendent Kathy Middlestadt's decision, which comes after the District Media Review Committee met to objectively review the book and its subject matter. So that is a win for Flyler Schools. And as far as all boys aren't blue, I'm extremely happy with the decision. I believe that in the state of Florida, the parents have rights. And for something to be in the media center that parents don't know about of that caliber isn't the way that our government here in Florida is headed. So I'm very proud of Ms. Middlestat. Woolbright had called for the sheriff's office to investigate the book being on school library shelves, but Sheriff Rick Staley found no legal issues with it. All I wanted all along was for transparency to our families and to our parents, which obviously things weren't transparent because there was such an uproar from people that books of that caliber was in our media center. So now our public and our families have the knowledge that they need in order to make decisions for their family and for their children. Three other books that were called into question but that Woolbright did not specifically call to be removed from school libraries, The Hate You Give, Speak, and Stamped, Racism, Anti-Racism, and You will stay on school library shelves. Brandon Sneed was sworn in as Bunnell's new interim police chief yesterday afternoon after the abrupt retirement of Chief Tom Foster. Speaking with Flagler News Weekly, Bunnell City Manager Dr. Alvin Jackson says Sneed brings immediate leadership to the position. We want the uh, team to know that uh, we're providing leadership and that they are important to the city. And uh, it's a department that uh, we're very proud of and we're going to continue to strengthen that. Brandon Sneed applied to become the Bunnell Police Chief back in 2012 but came up just short with a second place finish. He talks about what he brings to the table today. I have a background as a consultant and um, reserve law enforcement commander as well as I spent 20 years with the highway patrol as a major. So I, I do have a huge law enforcement uh, supervisory management background, academia. Uh, right now I was doing emergency management and law enforcement consulting. And does he one day hope to remove the interim label from his title? Uh, right now, to be honest with you, I'm just trying to get through the processes right now to see where we're at, give a report to the city manager so we can move the city forward and we'll discuss that at a later date. Sneed said his concern now is to stabilize the department. Tom Foster was Bunnell police chief for nearly eight years. Two Palm Coast City Council members go at it in personal attacks. Amy Cherry reports. Councilman Victor Barbosa, who's running against incumbent Joe Mullins for his Flagler County Commission seat, called Councilman Ed Danko's behavior into question. Danko is an ally of Mullins. We had an ethics complaint that just finished on a certain councilman. And it worries me because there was no, no outcome to something that i seen happen. And we're supposed to protect the residents of the city and our staff. This certain councilman verbally and grossly attacked the new city manager. Who made this ethics complaint finish without even interviewing witnesses? It's pretty sad because what I saw, it was bad. Councilman Danko says he was cleared of any wrongdoing in three ethics complaints. He then fired back at Barbosa. Councilman Barbosa should take up Joe Mullen's offer of a free plane ticket to Costa Rica, and let's see how that or works ordered. out. Order Councilman, direct your comments to me. No, I'm done. Finish. I'm done. Mullins made that initial challenge to fly Barbosa to Costa Rica on his dime on WNZF's Live Shop Work Play, heard at 9.30 a.m. on Saturdays. Barbosa had apparently faced allegations of extortion, robbery, and kidnapping when he lived in Costa Rica between 2012 and 2018 but has vehemently denied any involvement. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Amy Cherry. More questions arise about a bill working through the state legislature that could result in businesses suing cities and counties. Rich Peschke has more. 
Seventh District Senator Travis Hudson is one of the backers of SB 620. It says if you're going to have an ordinance that affects a business's bottom line, it's about 15% of their profit or revenue, then that business can seek to recover claims for, for the harm that you've caused them. And that business can go seek remedies through either mediation, arbitration, or the court process themselves. Hudson was asked if governments could still be sued for putting in restrictions like those during COVID-19. We carve out any emergency orders. So if it's an emergency order like the pandemic, this bill would not take effect on that seeking the claim. If it's an emergency ordinance and they did it under the emergency order procedures, then they would be fine. He says the bill isn't taking away decision making from municipalities. We're not trying to mess with budgets. We're not trying to mess with, you know, the constitutional officers coming in front of them. We really want to focus on the ordinance that's going to affect the businesses in their community. It's going to be narrowly tailored to that. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Rich Petschke. A Palm Coast firefighter is honored. Palm Coast fire driver engineer Jeffrey Nunziato is the recipient of the 2021 Fire Service Medal and Certificate by the Flagler Chapter of the Sons of the American Revolution for his coordination and leadership of the driver engineer field training program for the Palm Coast Fire Department. Palm Coast Fire Chief Jerry Forte says Nunziato is a valuable resource with his background in specialized driving. When we were looking at promoting him to driver after an assessment, he was the first one to go through and he actually assessed all the remaining candidates after he passed the assessment himself. So Jeff's been a go-to for a lot of the hard lifting that we needed to get done for many years. Nunziato is scheduled to be formally promoted to lieutenant in January. What's the latest with Palm Coast Connect? We told you about the site a while back, but the city's communications director, Brittany Kershaw, said there is something happening with it. Palm Coast Connect recently went through a revamp. That's more of if you have business with the city and you want to interact with us, if it involves your utility bill or any issues, like if you see a crack in the sidewalk, that sort of thing. Kershaw said that Palm Coast Connect is now linked to the city's new website, palmcoast.gov, that's under development. She said that you can also find the Be Local, Buy Local section there. You can listen to the business report on Saturday mornings at 10 o'clock right here on WNZF. Tomorrow, shop local, not online. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Deb Albertson. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Rich Carroll.